And so my biggest financial failure yeah. was something called the Museum of Pizza. So I'm a few months late on hearing this podcast, but coming across this was actually so crazy because I was hired to design the Museum of Pizza, but I was hired and then fired. Fired about four weeks before they were opening. And it's funny hearing Kareem's side of this because I don't think that I ever met him or maybe I did, but everything was like happening so fast. I don't really remember. But let me tell you a little backstory. So I am a designer and I call myself a spatial designer because I design spaces for brands and events and pop-ups. And I normally am hired by a production agency. And so this is what happened. Museum of Pizza hired a production agency and then the production agency went and hired me to be the designer. On this podcast, Cream mentioned that they started in May. And looking back at my emails, I started August 14th. So when I started, they already had a pitch deck, they had slight brand identity and concepts for the whole Museum of Pizza, but they didn't actually have how it was going to happen in the space. So this was 2018 and this was honestly the wildest of the wild times because everyone was opening these museums like left and right because they saw people in what they thought just printing off money, even he says it so on the podcast. But a lot of these people did not understand what it took to put one of these on and how much money you had to put in to honestly make it cool and make it worth talking about. So there's the money aspect, but then there's also the time aspect because if you want things to be really cool, it takes time to build those things. So I'm starting August 14th and they are slated to open October 13th. Oh my God, I'm looking through my emails because I never delete my emails. And Kareem, I'm sorry, we did email with each other and I totally forgot. But what this email is saying is that I actually created more of the brand guidelines, which I don't even remember doing. So in the podcast, he mentions that he just threw cheese or pizza or something in front of words. And those were the concepts for the spaces. So the first thing I had to tackle was what do these actually look like? So let me show you what I put together. How I tackle each project is I start off with a concept and then I do a mood board, then I do a sketch, then I do a render, and then we fabricate everything. So this is the first step and let's read this concept together because it's been years and I don't remember. Helping each other out in order to reach bay. Entryway is filled with contorting bodies that raise somebody up to help reach bay, aka pizza. Lobby is filled with bold reds, yellows, whites, and black hues, giving off a sultry yet 70s vibe, similar to the main promo photo shoot. Entry desk is white tiled, covered in slimy cheese. The floor is black and white tile. Pizza phrases fit perfectly for a shoot. Oh, with pizza phrases perfectly for a shoe feet. So you know where you like take a photo of your feet. Museum of Pizza is written in neon with the logo, a pizza painted behind it. The main museum is hidden through red velvet curtains. So here's the mood board. I loved that image of these like contortionists and that's what I was kind of building for this entryway that was gonna flank the center desk. You'll see it in a second. Here's my sketch. This was that front desk covered in gooey cheese that somebody was behind to like take your tickets and each side was flanking these inset boxes that were filled with mannequins, them reaching for these gooey drips of pizza. So this was a pizza vortex and all of these were gonna be pizza boxes and you walk through it. Here's my sketch you know you get it let's keep going this was their ingredients playground so they wanted to fill all of like the pizza ingredients that you have inside of a playground looking back at my emails they didn't love this one um so i was going to start reworking this so we have the cheese cave i was so excited for this one but i also remember being so nervous about rendering this because my render skills did not know how to make like drippy gooeyness so here was my sketch and i actually signed up for a sketchup course to start learning how to make these kind of pieces so i would be better renderer for this project and then i got fired from it but more on that to come. This I remember being excited for, having like yellow powder squirt at you in the cheese cave, but I knew that people coming would be in like cute clothes that they want to get pictures in, so they probably didn't want to be squirted with like yellow powder paint. I'm looking at my emails and trying to remember all of this. This email says, we regrouped, we love all of your sketches, we have zero feedback, keep doing what you're doing, somehow you've crawled into our brain and have executed ideas that are perfectly on brand and exactly what we could have hoped for. But then things got tricky because the venue fell through and this is where all of the issues started happening. This is something that they were very shocked about, but I had worked on a few other projects in the city and I knew that that kind of just happened. These venue spaces weren't really venue spaces, but they were 
old retail stores waiting for a new retail store to come in. So say Forever 21 was there and then they left and now they're waiting for Hollister to come in. That space in the meantime, they look for places like these that wanna do this pop-up to help fill them. And really they're just like after money. So this space that they had, they probably found somebody else or found that retail store to come in sooner. And so they just like canceled whatever they had with you know, Museum of Pizza. So they were out of a venue space and now we had to find a new space while continuing doing the designs, but doing the designs without any sense of budget because we had no idea how the budget was gonna look. Oh my God, I keep finding more of my designs, hold on. This was Pizza Dreams. You were gonna stick your head up and then be surrounded by this like a galaxy of pizza dreams, just like this. I was so excited for this one to do this kind of walkway but have it be through pizza slices and kind of have each of these little cutouts kind of be like bites. Something like that. So backtrack, we don't have a venue. And if you listen to the podcast, Kareem says that everybody gets a slice of pizza with their entry, which sounds like, oh, you know what, no big deal. Except no, because New York City has laws around giving out food and handling food. And a lot of these venue spaces didn't have the same codes for giving out food. For example, you needed to make sure you had so many public restrooms if you were then gonna be serving food. And this wasn't the case with a lot of the venues that were available. So we end up finding a venue and then in the podcast, he mentions that the net, the landlord then just ghosts and that happened again. I wanna say that there were at least three venues that fell through. Maybe it was just two venues that fell through, but there was definitely multiples. And so that kept happening where we were still up in the air on designs because we didn't know how the budget was laying out. And my emails on September 10th, they then bring in this new creative director. And that is where my job started becoming really hard. So the new art director on their team ended up wanting to take everything in this look that reminded me of uh, Real Monsters from Nickelodeon, that kind of art style. On September 18th, they got the new venue, which was locked in, and that was also the day that they fired the production company that I was working for on the project. Now, I don't really know the details because I was not on that side of things, but there were just end clauses and break clauses, and they were no longer allowed to use any of the artwork that I did. It was a really sad ending. I really actually wanted to make that come to life, but the whole process was a big learning lesson for me and from the sound of the podcast, everyone.